Any luck? You asked me that five minutes ago. You know, it's not easy trying to get a 21st century radio to communicate with a 22nd century time ship. Thawne never told you what he did with Rip? No. We weren't close like that. How are you holding up? Better than a mile. I never knew about you guys. It's nothing to know. We just, you know, figuring it out. I figured it out. We've been assuming that Wave Rider's broadcasting using a quantum frequency, but You're only if the quad band antenna array was in alignment. Ray, you are genius. <laughs> Guess I am. I kind of forgot what it was like. So, can you communicate with Rip or what? Sarah? Sarah, is that you? <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. We didn't do anything yet. Rip? Yes, Dr. Palmer. I've honed in on your location. <laughs> well, haul us over here and come pick us up. There may be one small problem with that. Huh? Look, it's the teeny weeny Englishman. The Ferrari, will you please stop? All right. Why would Thawne use the Spear of Destiny to shrink you? Uh, I don't believe he did. I'm, I'm assuming that he used Dr. Palmer's exosuit. Oh, well then, he must still have it in his lab. We gotta steal it back and then we can unshrink the ship. And then what? Rip, we have a plan to put reality back as it was. But you're not gonna like it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to see more from DC's Legends of Tomorrow.